can request an Uber taxi with the Gear S2. You simply turn the app tray, tap to open, and request the car. By having um, a third operating system alongside you know, what Apple Watch uses in Android Wear, um, you're requiring app developers to, uh, to adapt their um, you know, your apps for, for yet another system. And so far, um, they haven't really been, been doing that. Um, the uh, market share for Samsung hasn't been enough, or um, there haven't been enough you know, you know, Samsung smartwatches out there for, uh, for people to um, you know, think that that's you know, really worthwhile. The battery life um, for all of these watches you know, range a bit. You know, Samsung is promising um, you know, two or three days, you know, which is impressive, you know, especially alongside the 18 hours that the uh, Apple Watch promises. Of course, you know, it will depend on usage, and until we've had the chance to test these watches, you know, we, we don't know how well they're going to deliver on that promise. Finally fixing the Apple Watch user experience. With watchOS 3, which will arrive as a free upgrade this fall, users can look forward to significantly faster apps with background updating, a control center and app dock, and lots, lots more. Every Apple Watch user hates using apps. They're so slow, they're barely worth the effort. But that's not the case anymore. Apps under watchOS 3 are up to seven times faster than they were with watchOS 2. And thanks to instant launch, they open in a flash. Certain apps can also be updated in the background, and they now have native access to the digital crown. Apple also added a whole bunch of new APIs that will improve watchOS games, allowing for embedded video, speaker control, and more. WatchOS 3 now boasts deep breathing exercises, lets you share activity data, and adds support for wheelchair users, which changes the time to stand notification to time to roll, adds two specific exercises, and tracks wheelchair movements. Apple has redesigned the Find Friends and Reminders app, giving us an app dock for all our favourite titles, added letter writing to allow for custom replies to your messages, added Apple Pay support for third-party apps, and improved the messaging experience. We're finally getting some new faces too, but there's no support for third-party options. Instead, we'll get a mini mouse with a variety of different outfits, new activity faces in digital, analog and chronograph options, and a clean and simple numerals face. Finally, there's a great new SOS feature, which automatically calls the emergency services when you press and hold the button on the side of your Apple Watch. It's location aware too, so when you're traveling, it knows which number to dial. When we started to think about what we should do in terms of the design of the watch, we really went back in time. This is all about reinvention of the modern day timepiece. We decided if we're going to do the Moto 360, we must do it round. It was a very ambitious design. You know, I remember presenting it to the engineers for the first time. This sort of dual reaction of excitement and sort of dread fear of how on earth are we going to be able to realize that. So most of the technologies that have been created in the past have been for rectangular form factors. All the core components are technically completely brand new, ground up in order to support this design vision. We like wearing watches because they represent our personal style and because they make us feel good. The quality of the craftsmanship and the design is incredibly important when it comes together for it to feel just distilled and elegant and beautiful. If you can close your eyes and you can feel the grain and you can feel how authentic it is, then we have the right leather. It's the same with metal. There's just a quality that you can feel. Moto 360 is a reinvention of the modern timepiece. Iconic. An amazing piece of technology. Is a game changer. Moto 360 begs to be worn. Before we started designing this smartwatch, we asked ourselves one important question. Everybody has his own ideal watch, a watch he truly desires. But what smartwatch does a consumer really want? It is their ideas that inspired us to create this piece. First of all, it has to look like a watch, because a watch is a watch. I don't want a miniature smartphone or just another gadget to show off. For me, a watch represents timeless fashion and a sense of style. Consumers are looking forward to a smartwatch with timeless design. What we are trying to make here is more than just a classic watch. Many of the classic watches are round-shaped, 
That's why we've chosen a classic round-shaped case. Meanwhile, we've maintained the characteristic of a watch lug, the watch bezel, and the crown. We have specially designed a number of watch faces for customers to choose from. No matter whether it is business, casual, or sporty. For me, the size of the watch and strap is really important. Most smartwatch designs are for men, but for women, it's a little bit more difficult to find a suitable watch size. Through our extensive surveys of male and female consumers, we've discovered the most common and wearable size in luxury watchmaking. Now the diameter of the watch surface is 42 millimeters. It is the most compact design in round shape watches. We have also designed straps that fit women's wrists. We have plenty of choices in the materials and designs of the straps, no matter whether you prefer a stainless steel strap or a leather one. All the straps are interchangeable. true craftsmanship, as in the making of luxury watches. We've chosen sapphire glass as the watch surface, the same material as in other luxury watches. The smooth stainless steel unibody is meticulously made by a multiple of procedures with masterful polishing, which gives it an even richer feel. Something that is worth mentioning is that in this tiny space, we have attentively added all the advanced technical components inside it. I like the intricately and thoughtfully designed. If I have to choose a smartwatch, it should bring me a more remarkable experience than a classic watch. A smartwatch, of course, needs to be smart within. We've positioned the crown at 2 o'clock. Just press it lightly and the classic watch face emerges. And remarkably, we've brought the amazing functions of Google Now to your wrist. And of course, it is equipped with state-of-the-art activity tracking functionalities, providing a simpler way to monitor your health. Many consumers have the desire to own a true smartwatch. This inspired us to design a smartwatch with exquisite craftsmanship. Huawei watch is sophisticated, yet not extravagant. I believe we have made a true watch, a watch that offers the latest technology with classic watch styling. Hi, babe. Hey, did you leave your phone on purpose? Yeah, I didn't want to bother. I need my hands free all day.
sets us apart on this new watch is that the screen does feature a dual layer LCD. So it does do a lot of power saving functions because it lowers down the resolution as well as the color, which you'll see here in just a few seconds. It lowers down into a monochrome feature. So even unlike many other smartwatches, when it's not actively being used, it's a blank screen. You can't just look at your wrist and see what time it is. This one always shows it. It's also completely customizable. Just by tapping it, you can see different colors. And you can even just hold it down, and you have an array of different watch faces that you can work with. Exactly. Very simple, very easy to use. Just quick taps. <laughs> the other really neat thing that this has is it features our sensor-based technology. So by just tapping the tool button here, right on the upper side of the watch, it'll take you to different things such as fishing chart data, <laughs> steps, fitness, all the good stuff that everybody wants, including a compass altimeter, and even a barometer. And that all works regardless of whether it's actually tied to a phone or not. So even if your phone dies, your watch being a smartwatch usually becomes useless, but not in our case. That is amazing. I mean, all the cool features, it's almost like you have like an all-in-one. You can do, you can exercise, you can go fishing, you can do so many, you know, activity and events with this watch. Does it also come in different colors? Yes, it is the one model, but it comes in four different colorways, including this orange, a bright rescue red. Yes, yeah, so very high brightness, high LCD clarity. So you get a perfect picture quality no matter what the lighting is. An olive drab green, a very different olive drab, as well as a plain black. See, so very sleek, very stylish. Amazing, amazing. And now you also have some really cool app features uh, to go along with the watch. Tell us a little about it. Yes, so working with the Android Wear system, there are a couple of different key apps, such as RunKeeper, which you can use to monitor your run as well as cycling for everybody who does all of that. There is the View Ranger app, which will allow you different access to trail maps and hiking tools and such like that, as well as uh, my personal favorite lately has been the My Radar. Being a motorcyclist, you never want to get caught out in the rain too bad. So, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you can even just pop up my radar and it will actually show you a radar map on your watch screen to give you an idea of what exactly you're going to be dealing with that day. That is amazing technology. And I'm loving that Casio is really bringing it with this smart watch. Um, I guess anything last but not least we should share? No, just uh, come on down and check it out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey Kickstarter, we're Pebble. In 2012, we came to you with an idea called a smartwatch. Your incredible support helped Pebble smash Kickstarter records not once, but twice, and ushered in a revolution in wearable technology. Today, we've come home to Kickstarter to push these boundaries even further. Introducing Pebble 2, a sporty, ultra-affordable smartwatch with a built-in heart rate monitor. Time 2, a premium smartwatch for the active professional, and Pebble Core an entirely new device for runners that connects to your cellular network and fits in the palm of your hand. Hey gang, it's time to write the next chapter in wearables. Pebble 2 is our latest smartwatch, now with built-in activity tracking. A slim, modern design, available in five sporty colors. Pebble 2 has a high contrast black and white display, clearly readable indoors and out. It's water resistant to 30 meters. Its battery life lasts up to a week. It's got a microphone making on the go voice replies a snap. Wrapping up at the pool. See you soon. Pebble 2 is the perfect watch for your healthy lifestyle. Pebble 2 features fully integrated sleep and activity tracking. So you never miss a step. It runs a new version of our timeline operating system giving you quick access to your calendar events and other important information with a single click. Pebble 2 is an all-around amazing smartwatch. And starting at just $99, it's the most affordable smartwatch ever. Today, we're excited to announce Time 2, our all-new premium full-color smartwatch. Machined from marine-grade stainless steel in gold, black, or silver, Time 2 introduces a crisp new color e-paper display that's 53% larger than the original and packs twice the text on screen, keeping you up to date at a glance. 
Time 2's battery lasts up to 10 whole days on a single charge. And like Pebble 2, it has a mic, heart rate monitor, and is water resistant to 30 meters. Both watches also feature an updated version of Pebble Health. Now you can tell Pebble your activity and fitness goals, and it sets targets that automatically adjust based on your performance. And with new changes to the Pebble operating system, a single click gives you immediate access to your favorite apps and services. Time 2 is available on Kickstarter starting at just $169. At Pebble, we strive to build products that connect you to what's important while freeing you to focus on the activity at hand. Today, we're excited to take that freedom to a whole new level with a new type of wearable. Meet Pebble Core. Core clips to your shirt or waistband and tucks directly to your cellular network so you could leave your phone at home. Activity started. Core streams music from Spotify to keep you motivated, tracks your pace and distance with GPS, and records voice notes to capture those great ideas. Core features integrated voice support with Amazon Alexa, and it can send an SOS message in the event of an emergency. Core is the perfect device for runners, and it works great with your favorite fitness apps. We'll be opening up Core to our amazing developer community to expand its capabilities even further. We invite you, Core's early backers, to join us in building the first fully connected ultra wearable. Workout summary, total time. We've worked hard to make Pebble synonymous with open, hackable, and community-driven technology. Our smartwatches are the most actively developed wearable platform on the planet. Pebble is proud to have given lasting satisfaction to millions of wrists with one of the highest customer retention rates worldwide. Now we've come home to Kickstarter to rewrite the story of wearables again. Join us, and thanks for your support. Hey everyone, Kevin Rose here. Today we are talking about the Tag Heuer Connected Smartwatch. The first thing you'll notice with this watch is the screen size. It's a 1.5 inch screen, which is one of the largest in the industry. With this 1.5 inch screen, you have a case size of 46.2 millimeters, which is pretty big. It's 12.8 millimeters thick, and screen resolution is 360 by 360 with 240 pixels per inch. So by default, it's in a very dimmed state. You're not gonna see much. There's no tag branding on the exterior, outside of just a little bit of copy in the upper right that says Tag Heuer Connected. The connected watch comes with three different dials. Here you can see the chronograph, classic Carrera styling. Tap once to start the chronograph. You can see the red hand there moving. Tap again to pause it, and then double tap to reset. To change dials, simply tap and hold, and it brings up the interface to quickly swap them out. Here's the GMT. Tap and hold again, and we can swipe over to the three hand. So each of these dials comes with color options. If you tap and hold on the chronograph here, and then tap on the gear icon, it brings you up to the theme selection screen. Here you can choose blue face, white face, I'll choose white, and you can see you have a classic Carrera white chronograph. So under the hood, this is a Google Wear watch. So it's running the Android operating system. That means you'll have access to all of the applications that are available on the Google Play Store. It also has all the built-in functionality that you'd expect, text message notifications, calendar notifications, emails, and even access to OK Google. Tell me the score of the Warriors game. And you can see it displays the score right there. This watch has a rubber band and titanium case, which means it's light. It weighs 81 grams. So it feels right around the same weight as an Apple Watch, even though it's much larger in size, coming in at 46.2 millimeters. On the outside, you have a single pusher here. This will exit out of certain menus. It also activates the watch so that when it's asleep, you can see the display. And then it has a fixed bezel on the outside. So in the back here, you'll notice that all there is is a connectivity for the charger. It's a closed back. There is no reader built in here to read your pulse or anything like that. Here's the USB charger. It simply slides over and kind of just, you can feel a, a somewhat of a magnetic connection there so it locks into place. And then you can lay that on its side on your desk and it just starts charging. So let's talk about the competition. It's pretty tough. You have, of course, the Apple Watch, but also on the Android Wear side, you have the Huawei at $399. The Huawei has a 1.4 inch screen, which is very close to the 1.5 inch here, 
but they have a higher pixel density at 286 ppi and a 400 by 400 screen versus the screen here being 360 by 360. Another Google Wear contendent is the Samsung Gear S2. This watch prices out at $299, has a 1.2 inch screen, and is 39.9 millimeters in diameter. The Gear S2 also has a 360 by 360 screen, but has a 301 PPI, so slightly denser pixels. So the Tag Connected watch prices out at $1,500, which may seem expensive, but there is a trade-in program. At the end of two years, you can take your watch back to Tag, and for an additional $1,500, trade it in for a mechanical Carrera. So I'm a little split here because I'm a mechanical watch guy, but I'm also a tech guy. If you're looking for the latest and greatest in tech, you're going to find it elsewhere in watches with heart rate sensors and that are a little smaller in form factor with higher pixels per square inch. But if you're looking for that classic Carrera dial and the tag name, this is the watch for you. Plus, it gives you a great upgrade path to a mechanical watch in the future. As soon as the rumour mill started to churn out whisperings of Apple getting involved in the watch world, every watch brand worth its silicone got its R&D department into looking at ways to smarten up its offering. That meant Basel World this year was full of concepts, but very little in the way of completed watches. Apart, that is, from Mondaine. This watch uses the technology created by Frederic Constant CEO Peter Stas and Philippe Kahn, founder of Full Power Technologies, under their Manufacture de Mouvement Technologies umbrella. By putting it in the Helvetica design, Mondain has created a smartwatch that is both smart and still looks like a watch. In fact, this is the first time both the words watch and smart have been given equal importance. The only clue to its smart capability is the subdial at 6 o'clock, which provides the analog data readout from the app, which allows information to be stored on whatever device you're connected to. The smart part is the activity and sleep tracker that is part of the movement, which is quartz and has a battery life of two years rather more than Apple's 24 hours. As we said, it doesn't look like a smartwatch. This is technology you can really wear to the office. First and foremost, it's a great looking watch, with the Helvetica design making it a draw for font geeks as well as the studiously stylish, with the smart part feeling like an added secret rather than the emphasis of the whole design. It is 44 millimeters, which could place it more in the watches for men category, and, as it is on a leather strap, you might not want to wear it for a full-on workout, making this more a watch for those who want to monitor how their daily life contributes to their overall fitness. That said, in terms of wearing it out and about, it is very versatile, and we should know. We tried it on with everything from ripped jeans to a lace dress. It may not be for after dark, but it does work incredibly well as a daytime piece, which means you'll get a lot of use out of the technology element as well. This is a smart watch for those who want some tech on their wrist, but who don't want it in a computer screen format. It's the smart watch for smart people, if you will. So you like to run, but not like run run, just, you know, run. Or you like to swim, competitively, against your kids. Or you're a biker, not that kind of biker. Boom, there we go. You also like to do this, and this, and this, which means you should probably wear this. Beat yesterday with Vivo Active.